Well, here's a bit of trivia for you. Baltimore is home to the nation's oldest public market. It is, of course, the famed Lexington Market. Yes, indeed. And for the past couple of years, it's undergone a major renovation. It's set to reopen later this year, and our very own Mike Helgren went to the market for a tour and discovered what lies beneath. Few places in Baltimore are as steeped in history as Lexington Market. For 240 years, it has survived fires, raids, and the ups and downs of Baltimore itself. From a sprawling, mostly outdoor marketplace that grew to more than 1,000 vendors, Lexington Market got its start when our nation was new. And it's still going strong, set to reopen later this year in a reimagined space. The A-frame roof is a nod to what the market looked like in the early 1900s. What you're seeing here today, Mike, is the new Lexington Market. We got a peek inside with Pickett Slater Harrington of Transform Lexington Market. So imagine everywhere surrounding us, 360s, vendors cooking and preparing food, while in the middle you have specialty vendors that are selling their wares as well, while downstairs you have all the fresh food. The new South Market facility, which at one time was a department store, then a parking lot, has been under construction for two years, and he can't wait until everyone gets to experience it. I hear a lot of great hope and fear when it comes to the development of Lexington Market. Sometimes it's a fear of change and things being different, but there's also this tremendous deep hope for Lexington Market, and that hope is what's driving this project, and it's truly going to be what the community of Baltimore makes this space, and that's, I think, the great story that you'll see is a connection uh, between this physical space and a city that pulls everybody together. The rebirth is one of many over the years. The market got its current look after a devastating fire in 1949 led to redevelopment. Tracing its origins to 1782, Lexington Market was always a bustling collection of stalls, though many were outdoors. You can still see the vendor numbers etched into the curbs on West Lexington Street. They really didn't want you to know what was happening down here, so we can only kind of guess. Johns Hopkins with Baltimore Heritage, yes, that is his name, helped us unlock some of Lexington Market's mysteries, taking us under the garage that spans between Paca and Green Streets. It's here where large underground vaults, the catacombs, still exist, although tours like this one have not yet resumed. We kind of don't know how extensive it is. There are a couple mysterious doors that are concreted up that we don't know where they go or where they lead to. But we're pretty sure the tunnels went at least a couple blocks uh, west of the market, um, probably to a set of uh, slaughterhouses. This network of tunnels and storage rooms below busy West Baltimore streets was used for storage before the days of refrigeration. Is it common to have that in other East Coast cities? Yeah, because it gets hot as the dickens in the summer. During Prohibition, bootleg whiskey was distilled, and in the 1930s there was even an anti-communist raid. They found a bunch of boxes of produce, and they dutifully searched through a box of lettuce and a tub of butter, and they found absolutely nothing. In the 70s and 80s, a restaurant called Tubbs, whose faded storefront is still visible on Green Street, operated on one of the main vaults. The dusty old fixtures are still there. Tubbs was abandoned in a hurry, shut down reportedly over go-go dancing in the late 80s, and the space remains frozen in time. The liquor board chair, in closing it down, uh, said something like, uh, I am no nun, and what I saw there would make me ashamed. You can see the ghosts of the past here. You just have to know where to look. It is almost impossible to come down here and not wonder what's happened uh, over the 150 or more years uh, in, these, uh, in these tunnels and in these spaces. It's the place that has fed Baltimore for centuries. Yeah, this is the best chicken in the city right here. I love Krause's Deli. They do a fresh roasted turkey. Paul Rupert now runs Lexington Market along with Baltimore's other historic marketplaces. Public markets are special because they attract and they appeal to everyone. And he's excited to share the latest reimagination of this iconic Baltimore space. One of the most important projects that we've done in Baltimore for the last couple of decades. With more than two centuries of history, Lexington Market is evolving yet again into a new gathering place, hoping to keep that old Baltimore charm.
when you talk to regulars here, uh, what keeps them coming back? Really, they come for the, the vibrancy and the vitality. The new market building really builds on a 200-year tradition of this fascination with Lexington Market and a commitment by uh, all of us who love it to make it as vibrant and relevant today as it has been for generations and generations.